It's been eight days since Bob Filner's victory speech after becoming the mayor elect of San Diego, and already he's revealing one of the specific changes he intends to make. It involves redirecting most of the $27 million from a settlement to public safety, which he says is stretched dangerously thin. When there's a fire emergency, to effectively save lives and property, first responders need to arrive in six minutes, 90% of the time. In San Diego, fire units do that less than 50% of the time. Those are lies. Mayor-elect Bob Filner wants to change that by creating more fire stations. As if to illustrate the point, a fire call came in to this Rancho Bernardo station during the news conference. This truck is the only one within a 25-mile radius. They cross their fingers that while they're answering a, a call or an incident that nothing worse occurs while they're there. He's proposing redirecting much of the $27 million in settlement money from SDG&E after the 2007 wildfires. Roughly 22 of the $27 million would go toward beefing up public safety, including $8 million for a new state-of-the-art 911 communication system, half a million for a new cliff rescue vehicle, and $9 million for a new Home Avenue fire station. We learned from the wildfires that we needed more resources. Councilmember Marty Emerald is taking the lead on the idea she championed. If we had had more resources, perhaps there would have been less damage. Right now, the money is in a public liability fund in case of lawsuits against the city and to issue new bonds for public improvements. And, would uh, it be a problem to take it from the liability change. fund? Yeah, of course, you're always concerned about reserves and liability and all that, but we have not done this job. Filner also announced that the chiefs of fire and police under Mayor Sanders will stay on. This will be a much safer place at the end of this term. Emerald says the $22 million would jumpstart five-year action plans to expand both police and fire services. She says she believes the council will approve the plan early next year.